few months ago was visiting the desert. And when I was sitting in a small room, very remote room, my eye was on a computer sitting on the corner there. And the guy wearing the Bedouin dress, he jumped behind the computer, got his balance sheet on the computer and asked me to go there and look at his credit debit account, where is the deficit? In the middle of the desert, that was music to my ears. We want our people anywhere in Jordan, even in the end of the desert, to be able to communicate with the rest of the world. We are not an oil country. We are not even a water country. We are one of the poorest countries in the world in water resources. So what is left to us? We are rich in brains. Jordan has strong capabilities in intellectual capital. In other words, people are well-educated, people are capable. Until recently, though, most of the jobs were in government, military, or larger corporations. We haven't really had a very strong entrepreneurial culture. So to be able to foster some sort of small, medium-sized enterprise in the country, you have to also foster entrepreneurship. You have to encourage people to do, start their own businesses and take this type of risk. The Higher Council for Science and Technology felt that business incubation really is necessary to be able to give enough tools to people that really aren't experts in business to be able to start a business and minimize the risks of them starting that business. We worked together in government for about four years and then decided you know it's time to do our own thing. We looked around and thought uh, there aren't any serious attempts at creating Arabic electronic games. Prince of Persia, a very popular game and I looked at the characters and I'm thinking okay I'm from Arabia and I know a lot of Persian people nobody looks like or acts like the characters of that game. Whenever you think, you know, stories from Arabia or the Arab world, it's so magical and mystical, but it's not modern day Middle there East. There is no content that is relevant to our country, to our region, to our whatever it is, to our youth. One of the largest markets, of course, for media is the gaming industry now. What Quercat wanted to do is focus accurately on the history of this region. Initially, the obvious point of view would be it's a $15 million investment to create one game. It's a crazy idea. I said, no way. I said, there's so much piracy going on, and you know, we'll never break even, and are you crazy? And he said, yeah, you know, <laughs> let's do this. How would it hurt? Let's right. study the minimum capital required, how much personal sacrifice we had to put into this, and try. We had the idea, but we had no experience in setting up the company, so we didn't know, like, legally what paperwork had to be done and all of that stuff. So we walked into the incubator, and it was like plug and play. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have to worry about contracts for phone lines or internet. Before the birth of Islam, Arabia stood at the crossroads of trade between Africa, Asia, and Europe. Its desert was a harsh place, but its people knew how to navigate caravans between the oases, so they benefited from the trade that crossed their land. Arabian Lords was two and a half years in the making. It was a multi-million dollar project. It came out to market two months ago. In Egypt, we were number one in Virgin Megastore's rating of games. It's number two in the UAE. Ahead of humongous players in the world. Within an incubator environment, you lose a lot of that unhealthy competitiveness. Mm. We didn't lose out on anything that a big corporation gives you by being at the iPod. Even the coffee machines and everybody gathers around the coffee and the microwaves and... The and watercolor so. experience, right? Yeah. So by being here, she left government, came to this office, and absolutely nothing changed in the, her work dynamic. Right. And we're at a point where we have so much to give back to the new guys. We see some amazing entrepreneurs with, with 500 times better ideas than ours. If you contact, for instance, uh, Amazon. We have marketed the site extensively across the region. It's always much easier to work for another company or for the government. It happened that I was a consultant for the Higher Council for Science and Technology. And I heard about the establishment of this incubator. So I said, I will start. I don't have much to lose, especially if I'm starting under the incubator, I mean, I don't have to invest a lot in opening a company. I will invest in the products themselves. The incubator really made the decision easier for me. Oh, it's $250,000. Okay, that would help. Such a small country with so much history. But our problem is we don't have so many services for the tourists. And I thought that in my field, the IT business, 
can't I do something in this regard? And I have been going to Petra since I was a little girl. When you go there and there's no one to tell you what are you looking at, you would be fascinated by the artwork, but you would never know the history behind it until I decided I want to provide a service that has not been provided in Jordan before, which is the audio guide systems. The first audio guide we did was for Petra. Now it became one of the new world wonders, which is great for us. We hit the pot. <laughs> yeah. The guide for Petra is in four languages. Uh, Arabic, English, French, and Spanish. What takes most of the time is the research. We actually do the research. We're creating jobs for uh, translators, for the narrators, for the sound engineers. Is we go to Jordan Tourism Board. You don't find many females opening companies here in Jordan. It's not easy for me to go open an office in a commercial building, especially at the beginning when I was alone. Having all these people around me, discussing things with them, sharing same problems. The incubator actually gives you the feeling of working in a big company while you are a small company. So you take the advantage of both. When the incubatees grow to a certain point, ultimately they end up needing to leave because they, we can no longer house them. But we still maintain very strong relationships with them. One of the companies that iPark has incubated and graduated is similar to many startups in the U.S. in that it started in the house or in the garage. So this is our office. We launched Jiran in the year 2000 as a hobby site. You know, when you're working at home, it's not real. It's still, you know, these kids working from home, they're probably wasting their time. That's how everybody looked at us. Leith was studying dentistry, which is a big thing in Jordan. So him throwing all that away, and he did, that's why our parents, they start thinking, I mean, is it really worth it? What are you guys doing? They never thought of it as something that would be our future. Nobody takes you seriously if you don't wake up in the morning and go work somewhere and then come back at five o'clock. The pivotal point where we shifted into becoming a real business and people's perception of us was moving into the incubator and made a lot of things happen for us. They started saying, you know, somebody believed in them, so they must be doing something. When they came to us, they had already registered it, but we helped them transition from this garage-type setup and them working on it part-time to them becoming a full-blown company. I mean, instantly we had an office, so we started immediately thinking of it as a real business. Hiring people and even inviting somebody for an interview, you couldn't do that at your home. The whole environment pushes everybody. Everybody pushes everybody else. I mean, if you're up working at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., you're not the only one in the incubator. There's somebody next door. And we have the main site, the sign-up, and the profiles ready for Saturday for the team to test. That's what I need to know. Being in the incubator and seeing what successful people are up to and what it takes to be successful and make it, that helped a lot. New serious revenue was made through a relationship we established through the incubator. They gave us exposure. We were invited to events. It's still happening, the networking and the exposure. It's that people don't know about some success stories. There's still that challenge of investing in something where without the you know, equity, without the tangible. It's hard for an international website to be region specific, culture specific, but this website actually does bridge across the Middle East. Till now we have a million members. We generate well over three million unique visitors a month. In terms of online communities in the Arab world, we're the third most visited website. Back when I was in university, if you had support from your family, if you had people believe in you, and if you had the drive, you still had a lot of barriers to overcome. And now internet web is not for weirdos anymore. Everybody knows IT. This is the culture that we have changed. People now are looking to be an entrepreneur, which wasn't 10 years ago. 10 years ago, we did not really have an entity that can come in and say, I can alleviate some of the cost for you. I can help you to create an entity for yourself. And once you feel that you can walk and not crawl, then I'm willing to help you to find investors outside. Having ideas and dreams, we are really rich with that. But the economic circumstances don't help. Now having incubators like this one, providing the infrastructure, help a person to go for his dreams and to start his own company. It's been perfect to us. The dynamic is amazing. And even if they let us grow within it, we'll take another office. Even the companies that we've seen graduate, they keep in touch. You know, this sense of community, the sense of belonging never goes away. Once you're in iPark, you're always in iPark, even if you relocate. 
entrepreneurship is a bit contagious and people are starting to see, ah, well, so-and-so did it and it's working out for them, I want to try it. So our parents were all predominantly employees and so people have not seen entrepreneurs in action as much. I think the next generation will be very different.